morning viewers all around the world and win today thank you jesus christ welcome to another start your day with god in jesus name so right now open your hearts as we begin to worship the lord in the beauty of his holiness right now say after me say dear god say dear god thank you for loving me say thank you for caring for me say thank you lord for leading me away from danger leading me into my blessing in the name of jesus christ right now viewers all over the world as we open the day at the feet of jesus christ may your day be filled with his mercy and the favor of god in the name of jesus christ I say, as we open the day at the feet of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, may your day be filled with his grace, his mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember the mercy of the Lord never end. They are new every morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Please join me if you know this song as we worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful. If you know this song, viewers all over the world, join me as we worship the Lord and the beauty of His holiness because He is faithful. No matter the situation that you may be going through over the days or over the weeks, begin to say with me as we sing, Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful, we are saying, Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faith. No matter the circumstances that you are going through, Faithful are you, Lord. Say it. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful. No matter the sickness, rejection, intimidation, persecution that you are going through, say, Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful, we are saying, Faithful are you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful. No matter the disappointment that you may be passing through, are you living in abundance or you live in want? Say it. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful. Are you sick or healthy? Say it. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful. Are you employed or jobless? Say, Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful. Yes, the Lord is faithful. Viewers all over the world, no matter the situation that we may be facing. The Bible says when we honor God in our situation, he will honor us before the Father. Remember, it honors God to believe him even while every sense is contradicting. As you honor God in your situation, as you continue to honor God in your circumstances, may you be honored in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord honor you with good health. As you honor God in your sickness, may he honor you with good health. As you honor God in your poverty, may he honor you with breakthrough. As you honor God in your failure, May you be honored with breakthrough. As you honor God in your sickness, may you be honored with good health in the name of Jesus Christ. As you honor God in your joblessness, may you be honored with employment in the name of Jesus Christ. 
as you honor God in your disappointment. May you be honored with appointment in the name of Jesus Christ. It honors God to believe him, even while every sense contradicts him in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, let us learn how to say thank you, Jesus, even when there is nothing to be thankful about. No matter the situation, are you disappointed over the days or over the weeks? Say thank you, Jesus. Have you been lied against at the place of your work? Honor God and continue to say thank you, Jesus. Are you persecuted or are you sick? Are you intimidated? Just say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus, for the situation that I am going through. Continue to thank him in the midst of your darkest hour. And as you continue to do this, the Lord will continue to give you the energy for the distance in the name of Jesus Christ. When you read your Bible from the book of Matthew chapter 6, from verse 24 to 34, our Lord Jesus Christ warns us about two anxious about our needs. Today, many neglect the present for their future, acting opposite to the order of God and sound wisdom. Many woke up today anxious about what they will bring. Many are about to go to bed, but they are afraid of nightmare. It is common today when we are poor and anxiously in need of blessing. It is common today when we are sick and anxiously in need of healing. It is common today when we are bound and anxiously in need of freedom. When many find themselves in such a situation, they don't mind about the source of the supply. Whether from God or from Satan, they will take it. Remember, the case of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the book of Matthew chapter 4. Knowing that our Savior was hungry, Satan tempted him with bread to distract our Savior from acting opposite to the order of God. But our Lord Jesus Christ simply responded with the written word of God. It is written, the man shall not live by bread alone. What is your situation? No matter the disappointment you might have been experiencing in the last few days or over the weeks or at the beginning of this month, always remember, a man may be disappointed and yet be a best friend of God. A man may be lonely, rejected, isolated, jobless, and yet be a candidate, a favorite of heaven. So your situation should not cause you to give in to fear or doubt and then begin to doubt your guide. Viewers all over the world, do not surrender to the lies of the tempter. Learn to give thanks to God even when there is nothing to be thankful about. By doing so, you are putting devil under your feet. Remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. If you truly believe that Jesus Christ is the Savior, if you truly believe that he has what he says he has, if you truly believe that he can do what he says he can do, then your heart will be at rest. In the midst of your worries, in the midst of your anxiety, Satan oftentimes tempts you to question your sonship. Then your voice will be like, but I'm a Christian. Why did God allow all this to happen to me? I said God with all my heart. Why did God allow that or this to happen to me? But I want you to know, viewers all over the world, that it is a desire of Satan to make you put on a sensational attitude at the time of your pressing need, just to make you to query your sonship. In fact, sometimes, to make you doubt your guide. In the state of this mind, viewers all over the world, if you are not careful, Satan has great power over you. In the midst of your circumstances, viewers all over the world, if prayer and watchfulness are not being employed 
<laughs> the pain which comes as a result of your disappointment, as a result of your failure or setback, produces impatience, doubt, desperation, anxiety. In the midst of this situation, in the state of your mind at this point, Satan has a great advantage over you. So what is your situation, viewers, all over the world? Jesus said to his disciples in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 27, My peace I give to you, not as the world gives. The peace that God gives is put for all good, everything good. But the peace given by the world concerns only body and time. I mean, alternative Satan suggests to many are only concerned the body and time. As Satan tries to suggest alternative to our Savior when he was hungry after 40 days and 40 nights. Let us be careful. Always prayer and watchfulness is the solution. Brethren, let us be careful of the alternatives Satan may suggest to you in the midst of your trial. Many have provoked God to leave them with their own strength. How? By presuming upon their own strength, making them vulnerable for attack. But remember, our Savior did not stand the devil despite the fact that he was weak when he was hungry. The Bible says he has power to save himself, but he simply responded in the word of God. He simply gave honor to his father. How do we give honor to God in the midst of our trials? How do we give honor to God in the midst of our persecution? How do you give honor to God in the midst of your challenging situation? It's by surrender and submitting our body to the authority of the word of God by humbling ourselves to the written word of God. If you think you can go it all alone without any reference to God, then there will be no basis for your faith. If you think that you can go it all alone, you can do it by yourself without reference to God, then there will be no reason for the basis of your faith. Remember, faith is not asking for something we can do ourselves. Faith is asking for something we cannot do ourselves. Something beyond reason. Something beyond sense knowledge. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 2, the Bible says we can make our own plans, but God gives the right answer. People today can justify anything if they have no standards for judging right or wrong. But I want to advise you viewers all over the world. Before putting your plan into action, ask yourself, is my style in harmony with God's word? Before putting any judgment, before putting any conclusion, before making any plan, ask yourself, is my style in harmony with God's word? Before taking any decision whatsoever, it might be good in your sight, but it could be wrong in the sight of God. The Bible says there is a way that seems right to man, but at the end leads to destruction. So I want to advise you, before you make any decision, any plan, make sure or ask yourself, is my step, my plan in harmony with God's word? Is my attitude pleasing to God. Let me encourage you viewers all over the world. Whenever you are tempted, do not hesitate to refer your tempter to the written word of God. Do not hesitate to refer your tempter to the written word of God. Remind your tempter always, says it is written. Satan always do not want to hear that word, it is written. Take notes. In the midst of your test, ask God for the spirit of humility. It is the spirit of humility that makes one to be under the check and conduct of the Holy Spirit, even while being tempted or tested by Satan. Are you facing death? Say it is written, 
my God shall supply all my need according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Are you poor? Say it is written by his wound, I am healed. Are you weak? Say it is written, I am strong. Are you rejected? Say it is written, I am loved. Let this word be your guiding principle. Confess this word fearlessly and without wavering at all times, whenever you are tempted or whenever you feel weak or down in your spirit. And I want to tell you that the Lord will affect your word and that word will stand good for your favor at all times in the name of Jesus Christ. Always refer your tempter to the written word of God. Say it is written. Tell your neighbor it is written. This word, Satan does not want to hear that word. It is written that by his wound, I am healed. Are you sick? Say it is written that by his wound, by his stripes, I am healed. Are you poor? Say it is written, the Lord shall supply all my needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Brethren, it is the spirit of humility that descended on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when he was tempted by Satan. He could have showed his mighty power as a son of the living God. Yet the Bible says he passed his test and the anointing in his life began to flow. Be humble enough to pass the test that you are going through right now so that you can be qualified for a promotion. Always ask God to fill you with the spirit of humility. Right now, open your heart and begin to ask. Say, oh, Holy Spirit. Say, oh, Holy Spirit of humility, forgive my pride. Say, oh, Holy Spirit of humility, forgive my pride. Say, oh, Holy Spirit of patience, Forgive my impatience. Say, O oh Holy Spirit of faith, forgive my doubts. Begin to say this in your heart, viewers all over the world. Brethren, let us not in any way be off our watch. I mean, under no circumstances should we fail to watch and pray. Say, O oh Holy Spirit, take more of me and give me more of you. More of your calmness, more of your faith more of your perseverance, more of your endurance, more of your faith. Begin to say this in your heart. Begin to say this in your heart. Brethren, begin to say this in your heart. These are the essential tools, the instrument of faith that you need right now to combat this perilous time. Are you hurt? Instead of thinking about how hurt you are, meditate on the promise of the Father, regardless of how you feel. Do you know why you have to give thanks to God? Because tempter is there at the moment you are worried about your situation. Only the meditation in the word of God that can kick him out of your life. It is the meditation on the word of God that can, that can kick Satan out of your life. He's always there at the point of your worry to tempt you, to provide an alternative for you. But the word of God in the midst of your heart will put Satan under your feet, will kick him away from your life. Holy Spirit, take more of me and give me more of you, more of your strength, more of your faith, more of your patience, more of your endurance, more of your faith. This should be your meditation whenever you are troubled, whenever you are worried, whenever you are filled with pain, of all sorts, continue to ask for the grace to come out stronger more than when you went into those situations. And I pray God will give you the grace, the strength, the grace to live above all those trials in the name of Jesus Christ. Rejoice, viewers, all over the world. Remember, we are in a perilous time, such a trying time. You need to equip yourself with the word of God. It is written. Remember, your success depends on your meditation and your confession. It is the word of God that builds Christ's nature in us. Remember, Christ possesses a nature that makes it easy for us to trust him. So trust him in your situation. 
in the midst of your life challenges, make your heart a dwelling place for meditation. What are you saying in your heart? Holy Spirit, take more of me and give me more of you. So viewers all over the world, whatever question Satan might have brought before you at this moment, brethren, your ability to manage your mind is what matters. Remember the book of Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. Do not worry, it may seem like impossible. Many have worries over jobs, over marriage, over finance, over career. But Apostle Paul advises us to turn our worries into prayer. Many are finding it hard to worry less. But let me tell you, when you find yourself in a situation difficult for you to worry less, just pray the more. Pray the more. Whenever you start to worry, stop and begin to pray. Say to yourself, I will pray. I will pray without ceasing. By doing this, brethren, God's peace will guide your heart. The peace that supersedes all understanding will fill your heart to the fullest. In Jesus' name, amen. So open your heart as we begin to pray right now, viewers all over the world. Anywhere you are, remember, nothing can stop Jesus from reaching you, not even time, space, or circumstances. The only barrier is the state of your heart. Open your heart right now, the instant you believe you receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, begin to ask for the mercy of God to speak for you right now. Say, Mercy of God should speak for me right now. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Open your heart and ask for your, his mercy. Confess your sin right now. The Bible says, we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Whether your sins are great or small, Jesus Christ has power to forgive them all. Remember, you have not committed any unpardonable sin. Begin to confess your sin to the only one who can forgive you right now. Meditate in your heart and begin to confess your sin to him right now. Begin to confess your sin to him right now. Say, Son of David, have mercy upon me. Let your mercy speak for me. Begin to pray. Say, Son of David, have mercy upon me. Let your mercy speak for me. Begin to ask for his mercy to speak for your forgiveness. Begin to ask for his favor to speak for your forgiveness right now. Open your heart. By the mercy of the Lord, be forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, be forgiven. By the mercy of the Lord, be forgiven. The book of John chapter 10 verse 10 says, Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But the Son of God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, comes to rescue, to restore life in abundance. Today is a day of your restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever Satan has stolen over the weeks, over the days, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever Satan might have stolen from your life over the days, over the weeks, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, open your mouth and begin to confess everything that Satan has stolen. Begin to confess everything that he has stolen from you. Begin to confess it. Whatsoever Satan has stolen from you, begin to confess it right now. Whatsoever Satan has stolen from you, begin to confess it right now. Begin to confess it right now. Begin to confess it right now. Viewers right all over the world. Remember the other name for Satan is sin. Whatsoever that sin has stolen from you over the weeks, whatsoever sin has stolen from you over the days, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, begin to confess everything that sin has stolen from you. Begin to confess everything that the unrighteousness has stolen from you. The Bible says sin is unrighteousness. It does not please to God. Begin to confess everything that sin has stolen from you. Begin to confess everything that the unrighteousness has stolen from you. That sin could be envy. It could be unforgiveness. It could be pride. It could be anger. It could be offense. Right now, begin to confess it. Confess it. Say, whatsoever that sin has stolen from me, confess them. Confess them. Confess everything that sin has stolen from you. Confess it. Confess it. Confess it. Confess everything that sin has stolen from you. Confess it. Say, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. I command everything that Satan has stolen from you. Be it in your health, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever Satan has stolen from you, 
be it in your health, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever Satan has stolen from you, be it in your health, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever Satan has stolen from you, whatsoever Satan and its agent has stolen from you, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Be it in your mind, that spirit of manipulation, tormenting your mind, out in the name of Jesus Christ. That spirit of addiction, out in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever that Satan has stolen from you, be it in your career, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever Satan has used, to blind you to himself. I say your heart is being opened in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, Satan uses lies to blind many Christians today. Satan uses lies to blind many Christians in hating their fellow brothers. Satan uses lies to blind brethren today. Whatever lies of the devil whatever lies that satan has used to blind you to himself be released in the name of jesus christ whatever lies of the devil that satan has been using to cause hatred to your heart be released in the name of jesus christ whatever lies satan has been using to blind you to himself i command your eyes of faith be open in the name of jesus christ I command your eyes of faith be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever lies that Satan has been using to blind you to himself in order for you to lose your relationship with God, I command your eyes be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan uses many lies. He uses many lies to blind us to himself in order to distract us from running the straight race with God. Whatever lies that Satan has been using to blind you to himself, by the mercy of the Lord, I command your eyes be open in the name of Jesus Christ. When your eyes is open, you will see your helper clearly. When your eyes of faith is open, you will see your neighbor as your friend and not your enemy when your eyes of faith is open when your eyes of faith is open you will see your brother not as your enemy when your eyes of faith is open you will know that your blood your sister your brother is not your enemy because you are not fighting flesh and blood when your eyes of faith is open, you will see your children as your best friend and not your enemy. When your eyes of faith is open, you will see your neighbor, your colleague, your worker as your best friend and not your enemy. The Bible says we have to wrestle against spirits that kill, steals and destroy. Principality, not flesh and blood. Whatever that Satan has been using to blind you to himself. I command your eyes of faith be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. We are to wrestle, not with flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers of darkness in high places. When your eyes of faith is open, you will see your neighbor as your friend, not your enemy. Whatever Satan has been using to blind your eyes from seeing or knowing the truth by the mercy of the Lord. I command your eyes of faith be open in the name of Jesus Christ. I command your eyes of faith be open in the name of Jesus Christ. It is Satan that blinds your eyes from seeing your helper as an helper. Instead, you are seeing your helper as your enemy. It is Satan that blinded your eyes to see your helper as your enemy. It is Satan that blinded your eyes from seeing those who want to help you 
as your enemy. Whatever Satan is using to blind your eyes. By the mercy of the Lord, I command your eyes of faith be open in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the eyes of your faith be open in the name of Jesus Christ. It is Satan that blinded your eyes in knowing the right treatment for your sickness. It is Satan that blinded your eyes in knowing the right treatment for your situation. You know, our situation needs treatment. Whatever Satan has been using to blind your eyes from knowing the right things to do over your situation, I command your eyes of faith be open in the name of Jesus Christ. When your eyes of faith is open, healing is just like a breathing. When your eyes of faith is open, your breakthrough is just like breathing. When your eyes of faith is open, your deliverance is just like breathing. I command your eyes of faith to be open in the name of Jesus Christ. I command your eyes of faith to be open in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now begin to confess it. Say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith. Say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith. Agree with me. Spiritually, you are blind, though you can see. But spiritually, many are blind. That is why they could not see their helper clearly. Right now begin to confess it. Say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith. Say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith that I may see your hand working out solution for my life. Say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith that I may see my helper clearly. Say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith that I may see my healing clearly. Say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith that I may possess my possession. Say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith. Say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith. Viewers all over the world, you need your eyes of faith to be open. Be humble. Open your heart and begin to pray along with me. Say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith. Open the eyes of my faith. Say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith that I may possess my possession, that I may possess my possession, that I may walk in the line of my direction, that I may walk in the line of my career, that I may walk in the line of my destiny. Say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith. Open the eyes of my faith in the name of Jesus Christ to see my helper clearly, to know my helper clearly. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the eyes of your faith, as from today, be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the eyes of your faith, be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever chain of sickness, whatever chain of affliction, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever chain of failure, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. I can see your testimony being restored in the name of Jesus Christ. I can see your testimony being restored. Viewers all over the world, begin to confess your testimony right now. As you begin today, viewers all over the world, your meditation should be, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith that I may see my helper clearly. Open the eyes of my faith that I may know you more. Open the eyes of my faith that I may see your goodness those words should be your meditation right now. What are the words? Open the eyes of my faith that I may see your goodness. Open the eyes of my faith that I may see my helper clearly. Open the eyes of my faith that I may know my partner. Many people are asking, who is my partner? When the Lord opened the eyes of your faith, you will know your partner clearly without being deceived. As you begin today, viewers all over the world, let this word be your meditation. O Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith that I may know my partner. Open the eyes of my faith that I may know your hands working out solution for my life. Say, open the eyes of my faith. That should be your meditation. Say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith that I may see my helper clearly. Say, open the eyes of my faith that I may walk in the line of your direction. Say, open the eyes of my faith that I may be favored in the name of Jesus Christ. Those words should be your meditation today. I can't wait to hear your testimony. Your testimonies are restored. 
your testimonies are restored. You know, there are some doors that you don't knock at all, that Holy Spirit will open for you. By saying this word, these words are anointed. You see, there are some doors that we don't knock, but Holy Spirit, in His mercy, will open it. Because when your eyes of faith is open, you will see the door that God is opening for you. You know, sometimes we open, we knock our own door. You know, sometimes we knock the door on our left, whereas the door on our right is the one God wants us to knock for the door to be opened. But when Holy Spirit opened the eyes of your faith, you will know the right door to knock. May your eyes of faith be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. May your eyes of faith be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, begin to share your testimony. Begin to share your testimony right now. Because the Lord has opened the eyes of your faith. Wow, congratulations. I say congratulations. Your testimonies are restored in the name of Jesus Christ. I say congratulations. Because your eyes of faith, he is opened in the name of Jesus Christ. I say congratulations. Because your eyes of faith has been opened in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, begin to confess your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, anywhere you are, are you in the north, south, east, west, listening to me right now, your eyes of faith is opened in the name of Jesus Christ. So therefore, viewers all over the world, continue to learn how to confess and what to confess in the midst of your apparent failure. As you begin the day right now, begin to say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith. Or you are about to go to bed. Say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith. Are you about to sleep? Say, Holy Spirit, open the eyes of my faith. When you open the eyes of your faith, you will see yourself clearly. The Lord will reveal himself to you clearly in your dream. Amen. Amen. You are an overcomer today in the name of Jesus Christ. You are no longer a victim. You are no longer a victim of circumstances. You are no longer a victim, but you are a victor over your situation in the name of Jesus Christ. What are you confessing right now? Thank you, Jesus Christ, for opening the eyes of my faith to see my helper clearly. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for opening the eyes of my faith to know the kind of treatments I need. Situation, all situation need treatment. Not only sickness need treatment, poverty, even needs treatment. Rejection needs treatment. Setback needs treatment. Say, Holy Spirit, I thank you for opening my eyes to know the kind of treatment that is suitable for my situation. Let those be your meditation. Say, Lord, I thank you for opening the eyes of my faith to know my direction, to know my calling, to know or see my favor or to see my helper clearly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Begin to share your testimony. Viewers all over the world, we have come to the end of today's Start Your Day with God. Continue to remain at the feet of Jesus Christ. Even if you are at a place of work, continue to be at the feet of Jesus Christ. By faith, learn how to be at the feet of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. By meditating on the word of God and whatsoever you say will come to pass if you stand fearlessly and without wavering. May the Lord strengthen your path in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord strengthen your path in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord strengthen your path in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue always to remain at the feet of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Continue to remain in faith till we meet next Bye for now.